Hey guys, just a quick tip on knee wrapping. Uh, this is one of those things where if you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't. So if you don't, here we are. So <clears throat> when we're wrapping, wrapping the knee, there's multiple ways. This isn't about which the way uh, to wrap is best. I'm just gonna put this around Billy here so you can see where we're going. Across, come across. So regardless of how you, how you do things, inevitably you're gonna sort of uh, lock the wrap off in the bottom somewhere. So really when we're locking off the wrap in the bottom, we really, we don't need to come below the tibial tuberosity. So the tibial tuberosity is basically this bony prominence here just below the knee. So the reason we don't need to go below there is because the patella tendon, which helps to extend the knee, runs from the bottom of the patella, of course, and attaches to that tibial tuberosity, which is sitting just in here, okay? So because that patella tendon facilitates extension of the knee, as does the wrap, wrapping below that level is of no use at all, but anything below that isn't extending the knee, and you're potentially you know, using up a uh, wrap that you could have further up the knee uh, to actually help in the squat. So that'll be tip number one. Don't come below the, uh, the tibial tuberosity here, simply because there's no advantage to knee extension, which is why we're putting wraps on. The second part of this as well is, and it's maybe less of a concern, but it can be an issue. On the side of the knee here, on the side of the knee here, right there, we have the tibiofibula joint. Now, what I've seen, experienced myself as well, the seen on a number of occasions is when this wrap is pulled right around that joint and cranked hard through there, sometimes what can happen, that kind of, uh, I guess, locks the joint up um, <clears throat> and doesn't allow that joint to move, which is gonna be a bit of an issue because that joint through there, that fibula is actually gonna slide or glide, sorry, anteriorly or forward as we go into knee flexion in the squat. So basically, as we're dropping down to the hole, that fibula is gliding anteriorly, okay? So what I have seen happen, and like I said, experience a few times is we come too too low with the wrap, or come around that, that joint there, and now that joint can't move particularly well if the, the wrap is, is cranked really hard. We can end up with, uh, after the squat, with some pain in the side of the knee, potentially as well can impinge the peroneal nerve, which is sitting just behind that joint as well. We end up with some pain uh, sometimes some bruising and this sort of thing down down the leg basically it hurts all right so yeah just a couple of tips there for wrapping like i said this isn't about the best wrapping style because there isn't one it's don't go below below the bottom of the tube with tuberosity there's no advantage and make sure you don't wrap tightly around that uh, tibiofibular joint because uh, you can cause some injury there